You lose the president, Ghana is in chaos. But go to our churches, what do you see? There is no kind of structure around our pastor whatsoever. And the churches that try to build protocol around their pastor, we call them proud. And they say, why are you treating your pastor like a god? He's not a god, but he's a mouthpiece of God. Without him, our lives will be jeopardized in many ways. You ask the worldly people, don't you do the same for your stars? That day, I listened to two musicians were fighting. Worldly musicians. They were having an argument. I was on Ghana web and I saw one of them was replying to the other one. So I decided to listen to what he had to say. When I listened to that worldly singer, his name is Stone Boy or something. How many of you have heard the name? Stone. Yeah, I know. Don't don't pretend you don't know the name. <laughs> I listened to Stone Boy. I called my daughter, Wejewo Abo, Dr. Wejewo Abo, Pat. I said, get me the number of that young man. I want to call him. I want to call him and tell him he's a very intelligent man. Because, I, no, listen, I listened to the man and it was almost as if I was listening to a professor from a university at that young age. So I told myself, there are intelligent people like this in Ghana. Blessed people like this in Ghana. God has given them gifts and skills. But our problem is we don't know how to protect them. We don't encourage them. We rather destroy. The only time you see us take them serious is when we are, we hear that somebody is dead. The other day they brought the they did the funeral of um, His Excellency Kofi Annan and they laid him in state. And many people went there and they were disappointed because they said they didn't see the body. I'm like, when he was alive, did you see the body? <laughs> when he was alive, did you ever go to greet him? Now you want mortal remains to view. Did you ever send him a letter of encouragement, a text to encourage him? Did you ever send him a card on his birthday? Did you ever send him a card on his wedding anniversary or something? You ignore the person until the person passed. And you want to view the mortal remains. But when the live body was walking about, you didn't care. One of the things the world is busy doing to us is to let us feel guilty for taking care of the women of God and the men of God God gives to us. But you see, they are the ones that carry the anointing we need. They are the ones that carry the word of God. They, they, we have the word of God. We have the anointing. No problem. The, the body carries the anointing. The body has the, the grace. It's just like my body. My body has blood. But if you cut off my head, the blood in the body will only begin to clot, coagulate. My body will begin to decompose. Because this, my body, all by itself, cannot operate. And if you cut off my head, the brain is gone. So even the heart cannot pump the blood anymore. May the Lord help you to take care of an anointed person around you. I remember last year when mommy had a challenge with her body. I prayed to God. I said, God, this is Nanao. I don't see how I can live without this woman. Other things have happened to me. I've survived. Not this one. Please. Please. Listen. The anointing is contained in earthen vessels.
And Jesus never said we should ignore preachers. We should insult them and not take care of them well. There are a group of people everybody insults. They are called pastors. Men of God. Evangelists. Teachers. Prophets. Everybody insults them. And sometimes the body of Christ even joins in the insult. I mean, if you are Barcelona and you insult Messi, you will be messed up. Look at when Ronaldo rolled away from Spain and appeared in Italy, in Juventus. Look at the money one man gravitated into and precipitated in Italy. One man. We give attention to everything and everybody in the body of Christ apart from the career of the anointed. Apart from the careers. And when I talk about careers, I'm not talking about only preachers. I'm talking about any of you that carries anything that is an anointed. Listen, we will have to teach the body of Christ to pay attention to anointed people. I know you care a lot about your hairdresser. You care a lot about your tailor. You care a lot about your doctor. In fact, if your doctor dies today, you may die tomorrow because shock alone will kill you. But the Bible said, smite the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. Mommy is coming back. Let's appreciate her presence. Let's, let's just acknowledge the presence of this woman of God who just blessed us so, so well. So, so well. Thank you very much. You may be seated. Now, you imagine for once, I decide that the rest of Love Revolution campaign, I won't attend. Um, tonight, I'm not coming. Tomorrow, I won't be here. Mommy will not be here. What are you going to do with this place? You say God will call another person. It's not easy like that. How many times in your life do you see somebody come from Bogatanga and come and be risking stuff like this in Accra? That should tell you all the human beings in the world, they are human beings, but their weights and their purposes and God's intention for them is not the same. It's not the same. In fact, whenever I'm going to do a convention, like very soon, Prophet Nanase will come to Bogatanga. I think he's there the first week of October. I am more interested in Prophet Nanase coming than I am in the decoration of the hall, publicity, and so on and so forth. Because you see, a human being I'm bringing, who is a carrier of the anointing, is the focus. The focus. That is a that is a concentration. So, so Jesus sent his disciples, and I'm looking at something on page 40 to talk about structure, the structure and the protocol we need in order to keep anointed people. Keep an anointed wife, keep an anointed husband, keep an anointed church member, keep an anointed singer. Like Mavis, we have to keep him for a long, long time. Uh, Pastor Yao Enkidazi, we have to keep him for a long, long time. These are anointed people. You don't get people like that easily. They don't come easy. Keep Moses for a long time. People like that are not easy to come by. Look at the way Madam Chair has been a blessing to this Love Revolution campaign. Every year she's chairing this thing and it. The other day I told her that you are really a blessed lady because we could have made another person the chair and the thing would collapse. She would break herself, break the chair. And even break the table in addition. No, you attempt making a Confucianist the chairperson of your thing and you'll be in trouble. First Corinthians 14, 40. It says, let all things be done decently and in order. And these 12 Jesus sent forth. And I'm reading Matthew chapter 10, 
verse 5 to 15. And these two of Jesus sent forward and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into the city of the Samarians, enter ye not. So Jesus is sending his disciples, and even the commission has structure. I'm sending you to only the, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, but don't go to the Gentiles, and don't go into any of the city of the Samaritans. 